Hi there, I'm Stephen Townsend, Reliability Advocate at Squared Up. And joining me today is Gwen Berry, who's an SRE at IAG. Last year at SLO Conf, Gwen and I shared our experimentation and ultimate failure in getting SLO adoption within a couple of teams at IAG. As an enablement team, our job was to help teams across IAG improve their operations and reliability using SRE concepts. One of the requests we received was to help teams adopt SLOs. We threw ourselves at the task. We spent months of research and planning, workshopping, analysis, but ultimately we fell short. If you want to hear more about that, you can check out our 2022 SLO Conf talk, which is on YouTube. As time's gone by, I think I've gained perspective. I can see some things we could have done differently, but oddly enough, we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about how after we failed at SLO adoption, we pivoted and tried something new, which we think is a nice stepping stone towards beginning the SRE journey, including SLOs. After collectively wallowing in our failure at workshopping SLOs, we took a step back as a team to ask the question, why were we trying to implement SLOs? What was the goal? Upon reflection, we decided what we were really trying to achieve was to get teams engaged and excited about reliability in a way which was uniquely adapted to their context. We also, from a practical perspective, wanted to find opportunities and pain points that we could work on together. We thought SLO workshopping would achieve this, but it didn't. So what else could we try? I've used my dogs, uh, Magnus and Jarvis here, to describe the different areas of reliability that we looked at. It was our manager, Stephen Gill, who came up with this initial suggestion, not about the dogs, about benchmarking reliability. So when we engage with a new team, rather than having lots of conversations and talking and workshops, we would go in and benchmark the current level of reliability. This meant collecting the data ourselves from various monitoring and analytics tools, compiling the findings into a report. It sounds ridiculously mundane, but sometimes the simplest of things can lead to great outcomes. We took quite a broad definition of reliability. We didn't only ask questions about the reliability of the technology, but also the operational effectiveness of the team. And we took a cursory look at whether the team was achieving customer and business outcomes. The first time we went through this exercise, it was with a team who built and operated a quote and buy website for motor and home insurance. The data was spread across many different tools and locations. Kubernetes infrastructure monitoring was in Prometheus. The deployment rate we also estimated using Prometheus because we were unable to get access to Bamboo in a timely manner. Client side errors and latency we got from New Relic's browser monitoring. We also calculated a rough conversion rate using this too, which gave us some business context. Incidents we analyzed in ServiceNow. Service side errors and the traffic on the app we captured from logs indexed in Splunk. I did the analysis manually at first. I either used the tools listed here directly or I extracted the data out and used a data exploration tool called Tableau. It took a couple of weeks, but in the end, we compiled a presentation which summarized what we observed and where we saw opportunities to work together. There were a lot of findings, both interesting and actionable, I'll share two that stand out. Firstly, we uncovered that the team was dealing with two or three P3 or P4 incidents every single day. It was a case of death by a thousand cuts, having to address a constant flow of minor issues. This raised lots of questions. What were these incidents about? Were there any patterns in the types of incidents occurring? How much effort was being spent in handling them? The second interesting observation made was that about 10% of the time that any customer interacted with anything on the website, it was triggering one or more JavaScript execution errors in their browser. This opened up more questions. Were these errors impacting customers? Can we fix this easily, given that the code that's triggering this is over five years old and no one who developed it is still in the organization? Neither of these findings are ground shatteringly amazing, but I hope you get the point that by doing some upfront analysis, we uncovered specific opportunities and pain points related to the reliability of this team's services. We had crafted a tangible starting point to discuss the value of SRE, including SLOs. The team in question were the most engaged I'd seen anyone when discussing reliability. 
They loved hearing specific details about how their system was behaving and were immediately curious about our findings. So we had an early win, and I'll pass over to Gwen now to discuss what flowed on from this initial experiment. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah, so as um, Stephen mentioned, the initial reliability exercise was so successful and the teams really valued the findings that we mentioned. We then needed a way to be able to perform this assessment for other teams on a regular basis. Doing it manually going forward uh, really wasn't going to work. So it was around this time that we started looking at tools that could meet these requirements so that we could firstly perform the assessment, uh, visualize our findings in some sort of dashboard, and also leverage the initial benchmark to periodically revisit and understand if the initial SLOs are being met or if they need to be adjusted, as we believe SLO iteration is important for growing and shifting teams and technology. So we did a few uh, proof of concepts with various tools that we thought could fit the bill and eventually landed on Grafana using the enterprise license, which meant that we could leverage the plugins and pull data from various tools that Stephen mentioned uh, in the initial benchmark. Splunk, New Relic, ServiceNow, and more. We set it up on an on-prem uh, Kubernetes PaaS and managed the platform in-house. This is now quickly becoming IAG's centralized observability platform as many more teams jump on board, which is awesome, hence the name Grafana Central. We've also since moved on to another project whereby we're implementing end-to-end -end distributed tracing across our new insurance platform after which we'll leverage our findings to set SLOs, ensuring that the new platform is reliable and performing for our customers, something that's actually seemingly new to all of those teams involved in this initiative. Similar to reliability benchmarking, this exercise will act as a precursor to setting meaningful SLOs by first actually understanding the system in its current state and all of the operations and transactions, rather than diving in and setting unrealistic expectations without full knowledge of the customer journeys. Furthermore, throughout this journey as SREs and navigating the world of SLOs, we've actually noticed a huge shift towards a wider observability focus across teams in the company. As uh, Luke, my dog, is demonstrating from eyes closed to open eyes-ish. <laughs> Along with a recognition that better understanding of the systems lead to higher trust from teams to define and reach attainable SLOs and can also actually make them more relatable as SLOs can often be imposed upon the dev teams. Whereas these benchmarking assessments uh, involving them in the process and helping build ownership and motivation to work towards SLOs. Ever since this experience, uh, Stephen has been investigating the idea of bigger picture observability as a way to help organizations steer their products and services in the right direction. Part of this learning uh, was the bigger picture perspective and thinking of reliability to be more than just the reliability of their technology, but also how we can actually achieve customer and business outcomes as well. Reflecting back, we've discovered that SLOs are not just that 99% availability measure to be met, for instance, but there are multitudes of other contributing factors, from listening to the teams, understanding the system in its current state, setting SLOs that can be iterated periodically, and relating these back to the wider business and customer objectives. That teams really need to have a certain level of observability before actually setting SLOs. That's all for us today. It's been quite a learning experience for us both. And now working at different companies, we're able to build on our shared experiences going forward, which is great. On behalf of Stephen, the pups, and myself, thank you all very much for listening. <laughs>